Hello Breckenridge County. It's good to be back with you again as we are all preparing for a really fun 4th of July weekend. Uh, going into the weekend, I hope everyone is safe and has a great time enjoying their family and friends. And uh, with that being said, I'd like to also add that we are going to be putting out a survey asking our, our parents what their thoughts are on children attending in person versus virtual options. So I know this is a big topic around the state right now and that, so now it's time that we need all of our families to tell us what their intention is. So this survey, it will uh, go over the 2021 school options for our students and basically uh, our students are going to have two options, in-person classes or virtual. And so as you, uh, as you open up the survey, you'll see that there's a spot on there that explains what in-person school will look like during the 2021 school year, where that is your, poss your possible five days a week, full uh, regular schedule. It could be a, a mixture of, uh, it could be an AB schedule, or it could be a mixture of both, depending on the COVID-19 situation. And then, but there is an explanation about what in-person classes are for the 2021 school year. And then there's a simple question that we'll just, uh, we'll be asking, will your child or children attend in-person classes during the 2021 school year? Then, once you get past that section, we also have a spot on the survey for you to provide any questions, concerns, or suggestions that you have about your child or children attending in-person classes during the 2021 school year. And these, those, that's a great spot for you to get on and uh, provide us input. I want to assure you, everything that is put in these surveys is read, and we use that to help us with our planning purposes. Then the next part of the survey is where it will explain what the virtual school option looks like for students. And this is an option for our students who are not able to return due to COVID-19 fears. We realize that we have some students that have underlying health issues. We have students that might live with someone. Uh, someone might live in the home with underlying health issues. And so there might be a reason that a family is considering their child not returning for in-person classes during the school year. This, uh, this option is explained in the survey, and then there's a simple question after, af afterwards that asks, will your child or children be attending school virtually during the 2021 school year? And then we have a spot on there where if you mark yes, then you would just provide your child's name, grade, the school that he or she attends, and a contact number so that someone from the school district can, uh, can get with you and learn more about your situation. And then at the very end, we, we have a question where it just says, please provide any questions, uh, suggestions, or concerns uh, that you have about your child uh, participating in online classes during the 2021 school year. So uh, let's get out there. Uh, th this survey will be sent out on Facebook, Twitter. We'll have it on our school district website, our school websites. Uh, we need your help in sharing it off of Facebook so that we can have as many people as possible participate in the survey. This will really help us with our planning, per our, our planning uh, for the 2021 school year. Again, I hope everyone's doing well. and I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July. Everyone stay safe and healthy. 